Alright, today I wanted to discuss what a windowed main block means for Oldsmobiles. Um, starting in 1977, and well, they ended in 1990, so 77 through 90, all the gasoline engines, 260s, 403s, 350s, 307s, are, all have something called what's uh, called a windowed main block, where the main webbing that holds the crank into the block has windows cut out in it. As you can see right there, this is cylinder number one, and you can see cylinder number three through this little window over here. And it's like that all over the block. Let me get a... Uh, I wish I had like a stick I could put in there. But you can see all the way back through this block, there's another one right there. And there's another one right there. See where the light's coming through? I'm not sure why they did this. What their theory or logic was behind it. But anyway, alright. Now that we're done probing around in there. This is only gas engines from 77 and newer. Um... It would, you'd never find a big block like this because uh, Oldsmobile big blocks ran until 1976 as the last year and then they dropped them in 77. And what they came out with in 77 was the new motor was an Olds 403. But anyway, like I was saying, 350s, well yeah, 260s, 307s, 350s, and 403s, 77 and up will have this. Um, some people say there's rumors of 403s having solid web blocks for some of them, maybe like motorhome applications, but as far as I'm concerned, I've never heard of one or seen one. Um, the diesel block is not like this, the old 350 diesel, that's a really heavy duty cast iron block. Um, people have performance concerns about these. I've never... I don't think you'd have a problem running these on stock applications. I think you can do a slight mild build on them. My thoughts are if you want to build a 77, if you want to build a 350 in general, try and find one that's 76 and older. It's a better block. But if all you can get your hands on is one of these window blocks, which would be a 77 through an 80 for the 350s, it's not that big a deal. I mean, you can still put older parts in them, put better heads on them. They'll take a good abuse if you're doing, like, normal driving to, like, 5,000 RPM, stuff like that. The only time you'd really have to worry about having a block like this is in, like, high-performance drag racing or just any, like... Any type of bracket racing, anything where you'd be beating the living snot out of these things, you could break the block. But they also sell girdles for these engines, so you can beef them up. But I haven't seen a video on YouTube yet showing what the windowed mains is. And I remember when I was learning about these engines, I kept reading about windowed mains. Windowed mains, what the fuck does that mean? That's what it is right there. Just windows in the main webbing. Um, I mean, that's going to pretty much sum this video up. just wanted to, I wanted to have the first video out there on YouTube, if not the only one that's ever going to be, because YouTube's been around how long and nobody hasn't done it yet. I'll put this razor blade through here. And there's the window right there. And does it on all of them. Oh, now that we have this upside down, I wonder how much nylon's in this oil pickup. Eh, I can't see any. Oh, maybe some back there. But anyway, I don't think that these blocks are... I don't think you're going to break one of these blocks just doing a normal car, doing normal driving, or even typical small-time street racing from traffic light to traffic light every now and then. You should be fine. But... I just want to spread the knowledge, and hopefully some of you guys learned something today. Um, like I said, in short, just don't deter this from you building an engine you already have. 
if um if you're just gonna do a normal street car. But, all right, that's it for now. Like, comment, subscribe if you like the Oldsmobile stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything in particular you want to see or any research you want me to look up. I just got my hands on a bunch of old Oldsmobile, like uh, street rod books on how to build all the small blocks and the big blocks. I mean, a lot of it's common information and stuff I already know, but it was still interesting to read the book. The book had been built or uh, printed in maybe the early 80s or mid 80s because they had a brand new uh, 84 Hearst Olds in there. And I got some other interesting old stuff now. I uh, have factory brochures for the 69 uh, Cutlass and W31 cars and W30 cars with uh, Dr. Olds on it. And it's like a brochure that tells all the different rear end gears that you could get for options or different engine packages and stuff like that. And then thirdly, I have from, it's from, I forget what magazine it came out of. But it's got all the Oldsmobile uh, exotic experimental motors. And uh, it's got... The chief engineer, John Belt, in there with it, and it gives some little background information on him as well. And really, he doesn't get the credit for it, but really, he is Dr. Olds. If uh, Everybody knows who John DeLorean is, but nobody has the slightest clue who John Belt is. And if you're an Oldsmobile fan, definitely look that guy up. You'll be impressed. And one thing that was his motto was, <clears throat> whereas Pontiac knows they're the performance division, and they know they're the shit, and that's why people go to them, because they're the performance company to go to for GM. Uh, John Belts's theory was, I'm not going to open my mouth, loud mouth, I'll let my work speak for me. So, he, he had a more humble approach to it. But, alright you guys. Also, it's been getting really cold outside, so I'm not going to be posting videos as regular. I'm still trying to get a couple more action shots of the wagon in. I'd like to have my dad drive it down the street and kick it down in a second and punch it and blow by me and you know so you guys can get a nice action shot of the wagon so stick around I'll be filming things here and there throughout the winter time but once the springtime and it starts to really get warm outside I'll start picking up constant videos again so hope everybody has a good Christmas and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year or a Happy Christmas and a Merry New Year however you want it so see you guys later I'll talk to you then.